peace peace y'all welcome to today's mathematics with your girl sunshine monet l today is seven one eight <laughs> we have made it to the month of seven this is the month of isolation and solitude you already know we in the anubis energy up until july 13th according to how you know ancient egyptians would count the weeks and the decans and the energy of the deities upon the weeks ashe, ashe. And Anubis is all about isolation and solitude and really going inward, especially as we're in this cancer energy on the tropical chart. Our mindset is going inward and going inside of our shell and nurturing what's going on inside of the shell. OK, so that's what seven is about. Seven is the number in supreme mathematics. This is God energy this month, all about tapping into that inner godliness. You know, seven is that Leo. We want to come into the Leo energy as, you know, July is usually considered the Leo month. So in this space, it's all about the Tipperith. You know, this is the heart chakra, the fire in your heart, letting Jesus in the fire in your heart and those, you know, kind of images that we are accustomed to seeing and things of that nature. So that's all about the seven, right? So really tapping into your internal fire, really tapping into the God in you and the God around you and others, Ashe. So we on the first day, this is the first decade of the month. On the first day, it's all about cardinal energy and taking initiative. So not only do we have the fire of the seven, we have the fire of the Aries one next to it. So fire upon fire, we love it here. So take initiative. What do you want to do today? What do you want to do in this month of seven? What kind of like spiritual work are you working on? What kind of nurturing spaces are you trying to create? When you go into isolation, what are you creating? You know, pay attention to your sensitivities and your emotions and things because last month in the month of six, we worked on equality, which was an equilibrium between your internal and external selves. So in the seven, we usually, you know, focus more so on our internal selves as cancer as well as Leo energy, both deal with the third eye, whether it's the external or the internal side of the third eye, it's still the third eye nonetheless. Okay, so, um, you know, you know, pull that, pull that cardinal card. <laughs> what you gonna do with it? So that seven and one come together and make eight. All right. So you take that initiative energy. This is what I'm embarking on. This is what I want to do. You talk to your spirit guides, your ancestors, you blowing the cinnamon out, you're doing the rituals, you're setting your attentions, all is well. We love it here. And you're gonna empower yourself with it, right? We're coming to the solar plus the shock right now. So we start so we in the month of the fire in the heart, we in the day of the fire in the gut, and then we bring it to the other side of the solar plus the chakra where we start manipulating our space because everything is predominantly water, and that's why Scorpius rules the external side of the solar plexus chakra because when we do things out here we're basically manipulating water like there's water in the air we, you know manipulating the air to move we speak into the air we're speaking into the water and watching the ripples go you know when we tell other people what's up they're predominantly water so you know if I tell my son hey come downstairs and hand me the remote I don't do that because I don't anyway but if I said that, right, I put my voice into the waters and it's rippling and now my son hears it and I've ma manipulated his body to come downstairs and hear me the remote. It doesn't always happen the exact time that I tell him to hand me the remote. Sometimes it might happen an hour later. You act like you don't hear me. I don't fucking know. But I still manipulate the waters to manipulate waters to make it so what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's a mundane example, but an example nonetheless. Okay. <laughs> So we in that eight. It's a double eight today. High highs make low lows, you know. And it's cool that we have the eighty-eight today with that energy because um yesterday Saturn on the East Coast has gone into retrograde, you know, giving us helping us repeat degrees from nineteen knowledge born degree up into 12 which is knowledge and wisdom and that's the degrees we're going to be going back through in our saturn energy so to have an 88 today on this cardinal day of this cardinal deck and it's really putting your best foot forward and realizing the transformations and the building and the destruction that has to happen and when you do that and some of y'all gonna be cutting everything and anything and that's okay but be mindful of the over uh, overactive solar plexus chakra with this one in all these eight energies you know what i'm saying um, we come into one and six, right? 16. This is knowledge and equality. So it's still giving you an opportunity to look back on what you did for the month of six and all the, you know, um, what knowledge you gained from the month of six. And what are we going to do? We're going to apply it to the month of seven because one and six makes seven. Today is a day of overall God. Okay. And so, you know, those are the numbers. That's how they add up. We start with a one seven. We're going to end with a one seven. <laughs> we know we start with a one seven we end with a seven you know and so it's all about like really rehashing what we did through the month of six and really implanting it in your solar plexus chakra and allowing it to make moves and really determine what you want to do this month so let's talk about the astrological astronomical report okay we start the day off with a 26 percent wanting crescent moon moon rising at 1 44 a.m and setting at 4 31 p.m we are in aries so we are in that one in our thought process 
um, I'm sorry, we are in Taurus with our thought process. This is the energy of manifestation, okay? So Taurus is all about your vortex, your heart. Remember that fire your heart. I was talking to you about the tip of breath energy, but in the, this is where we are in Aries. We are in the sidereal chart and constellation of Aries. So the happenings is new beginning, that 88 of building and destruction, being in the first uh, decade on the first day of the first decade, taking that cardinal energy and really trans making transformations with that cardinal energy. That's what's happening in our space and you'll see that you know moving forward this is all about confidence and courageousness as you enforce what you need without feeling like you have to overdo it or control other people but it also having control of over yourself and your paradigm at the same time and that's what the month of six should have been teaching you as well uh, the sunrise at 5.34 a.m. is setting at 8.32 p.m. The moon and Mars are at minimal angle at 1.43 p.m. The moon is 3.6 degrees north-northwest. Observe at 4.53 a.m. this morning with a 4.6 degree west-northwest separation. So even in the morning when we rose this morning, uh, can't uh, the moon, which rules over our internal third eye chakra, was in alignment with the solar plexus chakra energy with mars there giving us the new beginnings and you know how we experience things the international space station is visible from 2 25 a.m to 2 30 in ursa minor and then 3 58 a.m to 4 6 a.m in ursa major um you'll notice throughout the rest of this month that the international space station will be visible between those constellations and every now and then passing through a dramadon and all that fun stuff so keep your eyes out and wait to our friends in space Open star cluster IC 4756 is in the Seepins constellation. It'll be at the highest point at midnight, giving us that double 88. Okay, that, that super solar plexus chakra energy as the serpent's uh, constellation starts to become at midheaven for us, you know, uh, directly above us, really giving us that uh, enforcement type energy and the energy of the manipulator. Again, equal, um, balances everything. Homeostasis is the goal. It's not to be happy, it's not to be sad, it's homeostasis, it's peace. So if you find that level of equality, you know, keep to it. It will be tested, it will be challenged, especially if Saturn, as Saturn goes through his retro gaze. We already know the numbers. While you're balanced, you might attract other imbalanced energy around you. You know what I'm saying? Or vice versa, because the yin and yang and all things. You know what I'm saying? So be mindful of that and it's all right and just keep moving forward and stay on your ones and twos and be grateful that the universe gives a fuck enough about you to challenge you when you embark on things because they really want to make sure you're strong enough to get her done they really want to help you cultivate strength in the roots of the seed that you're planting and i love that for you cosmic nobodies reach out if you would like a personal reading i'm here for you